Welcome folks, I am Jabby Kuwait, joined by Achara the Kirk, Hello. and we are going to look at the Aladdin official trailer which dropped a few hours ago. I liked the teaser, I had some issues with the teaser, but I liked it overall. A lot of people had issues with the teaser, it became quite the controversy. How does Trevor Noah say it? Controversy. It was quite the controversy, according to Trevor Noah. Not about the Aladdin, he doesn't say anything about Aladdin. He's fine with it, as He's far fine. as we know. Get over there, get the Music's in there. Yay! Oh, hey, girl. Oh, yeah. Hey, girl, hey! Oh, yeah. I see you, boo. <laughs> you stumbled upon an opportunity. I can make you rich. Rich enough to impress a princess. Oh. It's a what nice have to do. There's a cave of wonders. Bring me the lamp. Oh, great one who summons me, I stand by my oath. Loyalty to wishes three. I'm kidding. Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, can you make me a prince? There is a lot of gray area in make me a prince. I can just <laughs> make you a prince. Oh, no. <laughs> you look like a prince on the outside. But I didn't change anything on the inside. Showtime. No, I'm in charge, okay? I say when it's time. Really? <laughs> I thought a princess could go anywhere. Not this princess. Do you trust me? Has that line. The... Oh, my. Oh! Damn. My, that was excellent, excellent, oh. excellent trailer, I thought. I have a lot of feelings, both positive and uh, some are negative. Oh, really? Yes, I'm okay. I'm just overwhelmingly positive about this right now. Okay, first and foremost, what's <laughs> most important to state is, irrespective of whatever negative feelings I may or may not state in the following few minutes, uh, I'm gonna watch this movie. It's something that already has me. It had me at hello. Yes. It had me at do you trust me. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna watch it, right? So I'm going to critique a little bit some of the things that I don't like mm -hmm. because I'm like, oh, I wish it was just slightly different. But it always goes back to, well, I just wish it was more like the cartoon. And that was my feeling with Beauty and the Beast. When I watched the film, I was like, yeah, I just wish it was more like the cartoon right. in certain areas. Now, this is much closer to the source material in a number of ways. It feels that way, yeah. definitely. The theme music, the the characters. I'm much more appreciative of Genie this time around than uh -huh. I was the first time. I mean, I was I saw what you all saw with Genie the first time around. He looked kind of funny, but I think they did a great job with him. I'm guessing what we saw the first time was an early pass. This looks so much more refined than the previous version that we saw. Right. So that's improved. But then a couple of other things came along and I was like, oh, well that... So Jafar, I don't like as much as I was hoping I would. It did stick out to me that he's quite young in comparison to the Jafar that we know from the original animation. But I'm willing to give him a chance. Right, at the outset, I'm not excited about him, I guess I should say. I might like him, I might like see the film and be like, oh cool, like he actually worked for me. But at the outset, I'm not feeling him at this moment in time because I'm so accustomed to the Jafar I grew up with who's got that very dramatic voice, you know, yes. and he's just very over the top. Mm -hmm. Whereas this guy's a lot, he's more calm. He's like, hey, there's a cave of wonders over there. Just come check it out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's a very different attitude. <laughs> The genie stuff actually worked for me. Like him going, I can make you a prince. And then yeah, oh my God, that was a <laughs> yeah. great joke. I was yeah. wondering if they were going to go there with that joke. And then when they did, I was like, yay. I wasn't actually expecting that joke at all. <laughs> the look of Agrabah, it's very, very colorful. I don't think anything looks like that anywhere in real life. I like that it's this 
fantasy version of a city. I love that there are so many colors. Like, the costumes mm -hmm. are so bright. Like, I don't remember a lot of Jasmine's costumes being that colorful, but I appreciate it. I think it, it looks really wonderful. It just kind of adds to that happy, colorful, joyful vibe. You know what I get afraid of? I get afraid of things looking like a set. Does, right. that, does that make sense? Yeah, that totally makes sense. You so, want it to feel like a real world. Exactly. Yeah. So real world, real costumes, real people, even though it's a fantasy, like, I, this is the weirdest comparison, but like Game of Thrones feels like a real world when you watch it. You yeah, know? it I has a certain level of grit to it. Right. I mean, that's, again, a really bad comparison because that's a totally different genre, but like, even though it's a fantasy, it has a, it has a, f a sense of reality to it. But I'm willing to get, to buy into it. It certainly made me happy. I, was, I sound like such a curmudgeon. This made me happy overall. Like, I actually really enjoyed this. It, I it, loved this. It put a big smile on my face. There's just technical details now that I'm like, oh, and, you know, Jafar. <laughs> so. Well, see, for me, like, all the color and the dancing and the set pieces and just how ornate it all looks. Like, that one scene in the Cave of Wonders, I think, where you've got that spectacular dance number and Aladdin's a puppet on a string. I just thought that looked fantastic. Like, yeah. it looks so much fun. It harkens back to that old school musical vibe where it was just very elaborate and big and colorful. And even the shot that you have up here of Princess Jasmine, it looks like it could have been a still from an old 1950s musical. That know? is true. I will give you that. It certainly does have that vibe to it. I just love the original so much. And to even watch this trailer and have some of that feeling come back. Yeah. I'm I'm so happy. Yeah, I mean, I, I like that they brought the music back. They brought all the themes back, and I'm actually very curious and optimistic about Will Smith's genie when he sings, you know, Friend Like Me. I think that it could work. I, I don't mind the Aladdin. Right now, I'm a little bit indifferent about the Aladdin actor. Like, I, I want to see him in the future. There's nothing that turned me off about him, is what I should say. So I'm like, okay, cool. You know, we'll see how, how he is in the actual movie. The one that sticks out to me is Jafar, though. Like, right. where I'm like, yeah, that's just... You gotta have a strong, strong villain, and Aladdin certainly had that, and I'm just, that's where I'm like, oh boy, I hope they got that right here. When I found out that Will Smith was gonna be Genie, I thought, if anyone can kind of take Genie and make it his own, because it's hard. You've got a tall order, because it was Robin Williams who did it first, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And watching this, seeing Will Smith deliver the jokes and stuff, I'm like, yeah. I have every confidence that Will Smith is a fantastic genie. Yeah. And I love him anyway, so. Parkour Aladdin makes sense. I got kind of tired of seeing parkour in movies for a minute, I'm not gonna lie. It's just because it's like, it was ubiquitous, it was everywhere. I'm like, golly, like everyone does parkour now. That's just like a thing that James Bond's doing parkour. Like everyone's doing parkour, you know, it's so, uh, but Aladdin is, he's grew up on the streets. He's someone who's had to learn how to get by and be slick. And so learning how to move efficiently across complex areas, which is parkour, um, makes sense for his character. I actually really dig that. Yeah, no, I love it. I think that's great. That scene, though, that he was kind of doing parkour through the streets of Agrabah, it seemed like they were cutting really fast. I was in two minds about that because I was kind of like, oh, that seems really exciting. Yeah. And then I was like, whoa, that's going by really quickly. <laughs> you know, I just spat a little bit. <laughs> so excited. Cave of Wonders. Mm, what's up with that? I hope it looks grand in the movie. I remember seeing the Cave of Wonders as a kid and it was epic. I was like, oh my God, that thing is so huge and scary. Uh -huh. I, I didn't get that feeling watching the commercial, but I'm hoping that when I watch the film with the, you know, the 12.1 surround system, I don't know how many speakers they got these days, with the Dolby Atmos and whatnot. Yeah. The, you know, woofers, hopefully it, uh, I get that same feeling that I had when I when I was a kid. I mean, that's this is the era we live in. It's all about nostalgia, looking back. I just hope that it's able to elicit that feeling that I had when I was a kid, you know? That's what we're all looking for here, really. Yeah. Aaron Davison says, Disney saw that we didn't like the first look at Genie and dropped this damn opinion change. This looks great. This Jafar seems wrong. See, too young and not intimidating enough. That's exactly, Jafar sounds like a high school kid. That, see that, okay, people are feeling what I'm feeling. What you're feeling, yeah. yeah. Exactly. I mean, I'm willing to give him a chance. I'm hoping that, you know, Guy Ritchie chose this guy for a reason. Um, stupid joke. Yeah, so I'm excited to watch this. I am very optimistic, even uh, despite some of the minor, minor grievances I mentioned that sounded like big grievances, but they're not, they're minor. Yes. Except for too far. And uh, <laughs> be sure to check out a shark, be sure, be sure. 
Be sure to check out Achara Kirk on the social media. Subscribe if you have not already. Check out our other reactions, reviews, uh, short films, video game related videos. I'm Jaffy Koi. This is Achara Kirk. Peace out. What are we doing on this channel? What are we, what yeah. do we do? Uh, reactions and um, I don't reviews, know. Yeah, I don't know. stuff. Yeah, things.